My name's Dave Sonter from Sonter's Fern Nurseries. Oh, I'm Val Sonter. And I, I'm Val's husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were burnt down in the fires of October 17, uh, 2013. Terribly stressful um, because the television was just blazing, you know, and um, it wasn't until I think probably 10 o'clock at night or something, was it? That you rang to say that, you know, I'm sorry, the nursery's gone. The Blue Mountains fires made their presence felt as the haze cast an eerie gloom over Sydney. Originally, the fire came fast, fanned by strong winds and temperatures hitting the mid-30s. It was good to finally uh, get in touch with my dad because I'd lost phone contact with him about half an hour before, so that was really the main thing, is I wanted to make sure he was all right. David Sonta has been too busy rebuilding his family's business to celebrate his success. But after all David has done to see it through, CGU thought he deserved to see it for himself. So we made David the surprise guest of honour at a community breakfast. Then, with Australia watching live on Sunrise, we broadcast a film made just for him. It became pretty obvious after about uh, 40 minutes, I think, that the nursery was going to all burn down. Fire. The fire just burnt this whole part of the mount, as you can see here, this big open area. Um, it, was, it was probably about 10 o'clock in the morning when straight behind us over here we, we saw the fire and the, and the flames coming up. Well, yeah, it was very hard because we lost everything. Initially there were two columns of smoke here. Black smoke. Black smoke means houses are burning. We, we lost our shed and... Oh. I lost my home in the fires as well. But the house had already caught a light by the time he got here. Yeah, it was terrible, sorry. I was here at Saunters. I was down with the potting crew that day. I rang David and he's going, you know, as usual, do what you've got to do for your family. That was wonderful. I think he actually inside was quite Sad. I think we, we fared better than David. I know David was a bit distraught. I saw him the morning after. And he said he wasn't going to continue. He, that was it. He'd, he'd, he'd call it a day. His business was finished. He didn't think he'd be able to rebuild and, and recover. But subsequently, after a few days went past, and he talked to his wife, and then he thought, well, it's what I do. So he's, he's going again, and the, the, the nursery's getting back on its feet. Last Friday, we had a little staff party here, just with the staff, just to mark that day. And we weren't really marking the 12 months anniversary of the fire, so much as saying to the staff, you know, hey, we're still here. So oh, we've had a lot of uh, achievements, but boy, we've had a lot of fun, haven't we? It's been a great ride, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs>